the water cycle. Objective is to understand and learn about the nature's water cycle. Water covers most of our planet. It can be found in oceans, lakes, and ponds, and in the ground itself. Water is essential for life on Earth, yet we often neglect. The cycle of water from liquid to vapor to solid is called the water cycle. It is an important scientific phenomenon that sustains the life cycle of plants and animals. As the water recycles, it is cleaned and made healthy for plants and animals. The water cycle is nature's way of distributing water to everyone and everything on Earth. Under natural conditions, water goes through certain recycling steps. Let us understand now how nature cycles water. While watching this video, you understand that three important recycling steps play critical roles. That is evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. The steps of the recycling process are Evaporation The sun's heat provides energy to evaporate water from the Earth's surface like oceans, lakes, etc. Water on the surface of a lake, river or stream is taken up into the air in tiny particles or molecules. The water changes from a liquid form to a gas. An example of this would be a puddle after the rain that disappears on a hot sunny day. Plants in our environment contain water in a liquid form. They release water vapor into the atmosphere. When plants do this, it is called transpiration. Transpiration is also a kind of evaporation. The water vapor eventually condenses, forming tiny droplets and clouds. Condensation Condensation in the atmosphere happens when more and more molecules of water rise and hit colder parts of the air. The gas then turns into liquid again. Clouds are molecules of water that are not yet close enough together to be pulled to Earth by gravity. Often condensation happens early in the morning in the form of dew that forms on grass and plants. When the clouds meet cool air over land, Precipitation is triggered and water returns to the land or sea. Precipitation takes different forms like rain, snow or sleet. In a natural setting, when water is returned to the earth, through precipitation, most of the water seeps into the soil gradually. This is called infiltration. Beneath the surface, the water reaches layers of porous rock and becomes groundwater. Groundwater gradually seeps back out. To form a source of streams. When a lot of rain falls in a short period of time, the ground becomes saturated. Then some water flows over the ground and runs into streams and rivers. This is natural runoff. The cycle continues with more surface water evaporating into the air. The water cycle is an exciting and continuous process with no beginning or end. Summary. The water cycle also known as the hydrologic cycle, is the journey of water, rising to the atmosphere through evaporation and returning to the land and oceans through condensation and precipitation. And back again. The water cycle is nature's way of distributing water to everyone and everything on Earth.